pause this video, give this problem a try, and when you have an answer, resume the video to check if you got the answer correct. This question reads, a 100 gram sample of metal was heated to 100 degrees Celsius. So we'll just write 100, 100 degrees Celsius right here for the temperature of the metal. And then it was quickly transferred to an insulated container. Insulated just means that no heat can exit or enter the container, holding 100 grams of water at 22 degrees Celsius. So we'll indicate the initial temperature of the water. The temperature of the water rose to final temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. So we'll just put that right here, 35 degrees Celsius. That means the, the temperature of the water went up to 35, and then the temperature of the metal decreased to 35. Which of the following can be concluded? The metal temperature changed more than the water's temperature did. Well, that's true. The metal dropped this much from 100 to 35. Water only increased by 13. So that first part is true. Therefore, metal lost more heat than water gained. That's incorrect because the amount of heat gained has to equal the amount of heat loss according to the first law of thermodynamics, the conservation of energy. So part A is incorrect. Part B, the metal temp temperature changed more than water did. That's good. But the metal lost the same amount of heat as water gained. That sounds pretty good since the heat gained has to equal the heat loss. Let's just check part C and part D to make sure the answer is indeed B. The metal's temperature changed more than the water's temperature did. Looking good. Therefore, the heat capacity of metal must be greater than the heat capacity of water. Uh, that one's incorrect because water's heat capacity is 4.184, 4 whereas metal's is usually just less than 1. So we can get rid of that. And then D, the final temperature is less than the average starting temperature of the metal and the water. That's true. Therefore, the total energy of the metal and the water has decreased. That's incorrect is because the total amount of energy in an insulated system should net zero because the amount of heat gained has to equal the amount of heat lost. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.